Hi, in this segment we're going to basically go over the tools that you need to solder. Um, for this uh, segment I have two kinds of soldering irons. One is a butane soldering iron. They're very useful because uh, they're self-contained, they travel well, um, a lot. You have real good control over the heat. If you can listen there, I don't know if you can hear that. There you go. That's the, uh, that's the butane coming out. Um, and they, they light from uh, either the spark or a match. Um, this is an electric one. Uh, this is as basic as it gets. Um, no, no, no temperature of control. Um, you can change the tips. Um, these are super cheap, found at uh, pretty much any Radio Shack, um, as, as is this. Um, this is solder. I, uh, I would recommend using the thinnest solder possible for any kind of soldering. Um, if you need more, you just push more, but if it's too thick, there's a, there's a chance of getting just a big old glob, and then it's harder to work with. Um, solder usually comes in two varieties, either silver solder or uh, 6040, as this is. 6040, it, it's cheaper, works just fine. Uh, rosin core, you need the rosin core, because uh, that's, that's what's called flux, and uh, that helps the solder adhere. Um, you'll need a sponge. This is a special soldering sponge. It has little slits in it for to uh, kind of wipe the tip in. They have uh, waterless ones as well. Um, this is a solder pump, which I'll show later. Remove solder. And this is solder uh, wick, which is also another way to remove solder. And that's the basics of the tools you'll need to solder.